Do you have trouble with Wi-Fi on your Nintendo Switch? There are many things that can go wrong with Wi-Fi. In this video, we'll show you the different things you can do to fix a wide range of Wi-Fi problems on this device. Fix number 1, Reboot the console. Restarting your Switch is the first basic solution here. Simply hold down the power button for about 3 seconds, then choose power options and then restart. Fix number 2, Power cycle your modem or router. For about 30 seconds, disconnect your modem or router from the wall plug. Before you try to connect your Nintendo Switch, make sure that the lights on the router are steady. Fix number 3, switch to 5GHz. If your router can send out Wi-Fi signals at both 2.4GHz and 5GHz, try to use 5GHz. The Nintendo Switch can work with either band, but you should try using 5GHz and see if that works. By default, a lot of wireless devices connect to 2.4GHz, so there may be signal interference in this band. Moving your Nintendo to a less crowded part of the 5GHz band could solve the problem. Fix number 4, use another channel in your router. If your Nintendo Switch is still having trouble with Wi-Fi at this time, you can also try using a different channel on your router. You can try channels 1, 6, and 11 and see which one works better. Try to compare each channel by using your Switch for some time while connected to each one. Fix number 5, ensure that you have the correct Wi-Fi password. WEP, WPAPSK, and WPA2PSK are all security protocols that the Nintendo Switch can use. If your router's security protocol isn't one of the ones listed, try changing it to one of the ones that are supported. Fix number 6, recreate the network connection. As a troubleshooting measure, you may want to manually re-add your Nintendo Switch to the network if your home router is configured to mask the SSID for more security. Obviously, this is aimed at more technically inclined people. If you have no clue what we're talking about, you should learn. In order to connect to the internet on your console, you need to modify the SSID option. The remaining configuration options can be kept unchanged. To update the SSID, you need to use the manual setup option under system settings. Then internet. Internet settings next. Go to networks found. Alternatively, you can use the option to broadcast your SSID openly instead of hiding it to see if that will fix the issue. Fix number 7, see if you have Wi-Fi signal interference at home. Your home's Wi-Fi signal could be disrupted by things like metal furniture, heavy steel reinforced walls, and other wireless gadgets. You should position your Nintendo Switch near the router and far from any potential signal blockers. If the console is still unable to connect to the internet after doing these, it may be due to signal interference. Finding the offending component will need removal. Fix number 8, use another DNS server. If your console is having trouble connecting to the internet and you are using a custom DNS server, consider reverting back to your internet service provider's DNS server. The DNS server is often set to auto, but you may try manually changing it. To change the DNS on your switch, follow these steps. Go to the home menu. Select the settings icon, and then select internet. Then internet settings. Once you have the registered networks list, select your own network by pressing A. Then, select Change Settings. Scroll down to DNS Settings and select it. Select Manual, go to Primary DNS, enter your DNS server, and press OK. Then, go to Secondary DNS, enter your preferred server as well, then press OK. If you want to use Google's DNS, use 888.8 for Primary and 884.4 for Secondary. Fix number 9, Factory Reset Your Switch If none of them work and you're still having Wi-Fi problems on your Nintendo Switch, it's possible that you'll need to do a factory reset to solve the underlying software issue. Open the System Settings menu from the toolbar under Games and Apps. On the bottom left, select System. You can use the Up button to click through the menu. Under the System menu, find Formatting Options and select it. Select Restore Factory Settings. Take note of the information reflected on the screen. Confirm factory reset action by selecting next. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel, or share this video to your friends.